Hi again, welcome to the Louise Janetta YouTube channel. And I'm just looking at this idea of making the papers translucent or working with translucent papers. And it's really just to add another quality to the papers. Like I've been using this tissue paper and it's quite heavy tissue paper. It's, I think it's 24 grams. In any case, I'll give you, I'll put that up as a piece of writing underneath. There's two sheets with the petals in between and it goes quite opaque. I mean, it is still really pretty, but I did want to really experiment with the possibilities of making it more translucent in order for the imagery to come through a bit more. And I mean, these are serviettes stuck onto the tissue paper. They come out beautiful, but when you don't add the oils to make it opaque, the back isn't as interesting. I mean, it's still nice, but it does become, with the oils, it becomes incredibly opaque and you get these beautiful sort of textures and colours through from it. Now this I did about two weeks ago and it is really pretty dry but there is still a residue of oil and I mean this one I just love with the oil on it. It's made it beautifully translucent and beautifully subtle and I really like it. Honestly I did glitter with something and of course it gets on everything so everything has got glitter on it. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping these up and leaving them to one side for a good while. These were both with nut oil on. And I just wanted to show you because I had a few suggestions. Somebody said glycerin, somebody said mineral oil. Minerals really good. It doesn't have the vegetable aspect to it. So it doesn't it's not going to rot in the same way as a, a, in the same way as a nut oil or a vegetable oil would do. So the mineral, white mineral oil, is something that I've really got into. The glycerin, I mean, I'm not quite sure how one would use it, but I have tried it both diluted and pure, and that isn't, doesn't work very well. It doesn't dry, and it leaves a residue, a sticky residue. I mean, it might dry eventually, and if anybody has any suggestions about this, oh, my glasses falling off my head. If anyone has any suggestions about this, please do put them in the comments below. So I'm going to show you how they work. And there's the nut oil. You can also try bonding agents, acrylic bonding agents, but I think they dry opaque as well. So the other thing about the glycerin is it is so difficult to handle. Like the mineral oils aren't sticky. They're actually really nice to handle and they do the job. So I'm just going to show you. There's a bit of nut oil on half of the tissue paper. The other thing is, of course, everything gets oily, and this, that's unavoidable. I mean, look, already it's, I don't know if you can see, but it's already gone really translucent in comparison to the, to it before. So, that's the nut oil. So I'm going to put that there, and I'm, I'll note on it that that's the ground nut oil. And the date, I think it's the 26th of the 4th, 22. Now I'm going to do the mineral oil, white mineral oil, and it's very, very similar. It feels nice. And that has a really similar effect, and I think probably is not going to biodegrade in the same way. I think perhaps the nut oil is probably a bit more translucent. I don't know. Nope, they're both about the same. So there's the white mineral oil, and that seems to dry quite quickly as well. Twenty-six of the fourth. Twenty. Now the glycerin, this is pure. This, what happens is, it doesn't spread. It becomes extremely sticky, sticky very quickly. And what's really important, so if I turn that over and try and do the other side, it just all gets stuck to everything and it appears to have gone translucent 
but you'll see when that dries it returns opaque so glycerin Six of the fourth. Now this is vegetable glycerin. I didn't know there was another sort. I might have a go at another sort. But I've tried that with water in it and it's exactly the same. So I'm going to let these be and I will see what they dry like and tell you how they, it all works. I have actually added the glycerin and the oils to some of the papers I've been doing. And you'll see that this is lovely and scrunchy and has a density to it and a strength. This is just acrylic on, on al almost like a kitchen paper. A good quality kitchen paper. It's very good quality kitchen paper. And look what happens with the glycerin. It completely transforms it, made it soft. It's got no strength. It just literally, oh, actually, it's not too bad. But it just, I mean, I'm just going to rip that. I don't care because I can't actually use it. So that becomes really easy to rip. Because it's also, I mean, it's just soft and gooey and sticky. So, and that's after about a week of having been done and after it's been put on a radiator. So that's obviously not going to dry. I'm going to have to bin these. And this one again, that's got glycerin on it and it's, I was a bit more nervous about putting the glycerin on this because I love the paper, but it's um, gone very soft. So that's the double tissue. I'm going to keep this and probably stick this on something because I love it, or at least, at least maybe keep it in a sketchbook because some of these marks are beautiful. Right, there are the three test pieces I've done on the tissue paper. This one is the nut oil, mineral oil and vegetable glycerin. Now the vegetable glycerin is really, really soft. I mean, it's pretty useless. I wouldn't trust that. It's still sticky. And that's after about four days of being in somewhere, somewhere reasonably warm. I don't think that dries and I don't think that hardens up. This is lovely. This is the white mineral oil. It's translucent enough. Oh look, the nut oil is probably more translucent. Yeah, that's strange. The nut oil is probably slightly more translucent, but you don't lose much. But that is lovely. It's, it retains a lovely quality. It's still strong. No, that's really nice, that is. I'd recommend that. And the nut oil's still a bit sticky, actually. That's after about four days. I think it would dry out without a doubt. There's no smell to it. I mean, it is a really lovely thing that it's whether you trust the nut oil, you know, to not attract insects or moulds or anything. But I mean, you, you oil leather, don't you? You oil leather. And that doesn't attract, I mean, it does if it's in a damp place. I would say either of those are okay. We use uh, so much oils and stuff on woods, and this is, after all, just wood pulp. I think of all of them, I would go for the mineral oil, just because it dries quicker, is reasonably translucent, and retains the strength of the paper, if not adds to it. So, going back to the, this was the nut oil one that I did in the very beginning in a demonstration, and going back to this one, I think you have to just consider that it is oil-based now and not water-based as in acrylic and you're not going to get or it doesn't appear that we can get the effect with the acrylic products if anybody can let me know and then what you can what you have to consider is even when it's dry you wonder whether you can apply acrylics to this I suppose you can if the acrylics really sink into the paper but oil and acrylic don't make a good surface to adhere to you can't paint acrylics onto oil paints because they'll peel off you can paint the other way around you can paint oil paints onto acrylics but you can't do it acrylics onto oils and the other thing is if you put this between papers that are absorbent or are going to respond to the oils it's just a question of thinking how you're going to display it maybe put 
sheets in between it that don't absorb the oils if you're putting a book. Um, it seems such a shame because they're so much nicer when they are translucent. But equally, you could just do a book full of just oiled sheets and using the attributes of the oils in so many ways because of course you can use it on the momigami papers as well. The other thing is, is there are other papers that are more translucent like mulberry papers but they're specialist papers and they're more expensive for sort of experimenting and getting used to the possibilities of these things this works just as well okay enjoy